You're listening to the Dental Zone podcast. I'm Dr. Rachel Hall. This is the place that supports you to understand your dental issues, the causes and how to prevent them, empowering each individual to get the most out of life while bearing a stunning smile. Hello, I'm Dr. Rachel Hall, holistic dentist from Brisbane, Australia. This is the Dental Zone. Thank you so much for joining the show. If it's your first time here, this is the place where I talk about health, well-being, all things holistic dentistry and dental health, so you can have a great, healthy smile and a healthy life. If you want to know more, hop on over to evolvedental.com.au or holisticdentistry.au. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about natural ways to whiten your teeth. So let's get to it and let's get in the zone. 10 natural ways to whiten your teeth. Having great teeth and gums is very important for health, but it is also highly valued in today's culture, particularly now with selfies, Instagram, people on TikTok doing videos and so forth. If you don't have great looking teeth, then it does kind of detract from the way people perceive you, but it can also affect your self-confidence and the the way you are when you present with other people. Many people with yellow or discolored teeth would simply like their teeth to appear fresher, brighter and whiter. And unfortunately for some people, no matter how much they brush, their teeth still look stained from the foods that they eat, the beverages they consume, the result of smoking or aging. Now, as we get older, our teeth do naturally get darker. I always say it's a bit unfair that as we age, our teeth go darker and our hair goes white. So if you want to look at ways to whiten your teeth and keep them free of stains and looking good, there are some natural ways to whiten your teeth. Now, I'm saying that in inverted commas because to really whiten your teeth and to change the color of your tooth structure, you have to have teeth whitening. Now, that can only be done with chemicals, many of which are actually naturally occurring in the body, but we use greater concentrations to do that. But if you want to have teeth that look fresh and bright and healthy, then these tips can help. So at first impressions, you know, they count. So having teeth that look like you brush them and they care for them says that you're a healthy, clean individual and you care for yourself. So if you'd like a beautiful smile with white sparkly teeth, then there are some natural whitening tips that you can try. Eating crunchy foods and vegetables. Crunchy and crispy fruits and vegetables have abrasives that can help lift stains from the teeth and give the illusion that they are whiter. They are like nature's toothbrush. You can try munching on apples, celery, which I absolutely personally hate, but hey, there's people out there who like it, so by all means use celery, um, and things like carrots, which have enough abrasives to clean the tooth surfaces without posing any harm to your enamel. I'm going to say it, and I know it's kind of bit dull and boring because here's the dentist again saying you've got to floss and brush. But yes, flossing and brushing. This is the best way to look after your teeth. And I know it's not always the easiest um, and you can't always simply brush your teeth after eating or drinking something. But this takes a lot of persistence and it can even be kind of difficult depending on where you are at the time. I mean, Ideally, if you've just eaten, we'd like you to swoosh your mouth with some water, wait about 15, 20 minutes, and then go brush your teeth and floss them. Now, you can't do that always. You know, if you're eating food on the run or you're out at lunch, you just don't have access to your toothbrush and your floss. Now, most food does not stain the teeth, but if you're a coffee drinker or if you smoke, you can pretty much count on having discolored teeth from the staining that they cause. If this is the case, then having your teeth professionally cleaned every three or four months may be in order. People underestimate 
how important the staining is that happens in between your teeth. So you might get stain on the flat surfaces of your teeth and you can get that off sometimes with your toothbrush. Now, if you floss and clean in between your teeth, you can remove so much more of the um, debris that are going to stain between your teeth and your teeth will already look whiter. No matter how whitened or bleached your teeth are, you're never going to have them look healthy if your gums aren't healthy. If your teeth are super white and you've got red, puffy, unhealthy, receding gums and plaque and tartar everywhere, it's going to look terrible. So brush your teeth at least twice a day, daily flossing or using interdental brushes or a way of cleaning in between your teeth. Nuts. No, I haven't got nuts. I'm talking about nuts. There's a growing body of evidence that indicates that eating a small number of nuts after a meal can potentially help to prevent tooth decay and pr promote enamel remineralization because those nuts contain calcium and minerals that are required to replenish your tooth enamel. Now, when we eat, particularly anything that's sugary, carbohydrate-y, um, I don't even know if that's a word, but it is now, or acidic, then your tooth enamel slightly dissolves. It demineralizes and becomes more porous, which means it is more prone to sucking in stain. And then when they reharden, that stain can actually become ingrained in the structure of your tooth enamel. So if you can help your teeth remineralize by eating something that's high in calcium and minerals, then you are less likely to get staining of your teeth. Now, you can also try sugar-free gum or mints with xylitol. Xylitol is a natural sweetener that can actually help prevent plaque buildup. While plaque feeds on regular sugar, it can't digest xylitol. Xylitol neutralizes acid levels in your mouth and actually increases saliva production. And saliva is like a natural cleaner that we have in our mouth. It spills through all the cracks and crevices and gets in and around your teeth. But bear in mind that this works both ways. While saliva can wash away food and debris, it can also carry bacteria throughout the mouth, meaning that your daily brushings and your low sugar intake are just as important as having good saliva flavor. Do you want to keep your teeth whiter? Then you can try the xylitol gum and mints because it's going to stop the plaque bacteria sticking to your teeth and building up and caking them with plaque and tartar and making them look discolored. Now, strawberries. There's a small amount of evidence, and I do believe it's largely anecdotal, that has indicated that strawberries may promote whiter teeth. Now, they contain a substance called malic acid, which removes discoloration on the surface of the teeth. Additionally, the berry's texture helps to buff the enamel, creating a brighter, smoother appearance. Now, you can probably get that from just eating strawberries, but what they say is you're supposed to rub the strawberry on your teeth and that's supposed to whiten them. Again, I'm going to be a little bit sceptical here. Number six, baking soda. While there are properties in baking soda that can remove surface stains, it's not the ideal long-term tooth whitener as it can be too abrasive on your teeth and it can ultimately damage your enamel and strip your enamel away, which will actually make your teeth appear even darker. The abrasive particles in the baking soda will polish the surface, while a chemical reaction between the baking soda and water lightens the stains. So occasionally using baking soda, and I would recommend mixing this with hydrogen peroxide or salt. You can make a mixture of baking soda, hydrogen peroxide and some Himalayan sea salt, for example. And you can clean and whiten your teeth with that. You can damage your enamel with this abrasive mixture. So don't do it more than once or twice a week. Make sure you're using a nice soft toothbrush and you're being very gentle with your technique. And so here's one for the ladies. 
or for the guys these days, it seems, lipstick shade. If you want to make your teeth look fashionably white without the work, then stick to a blue-based red or pink lipstick and choose clothes in dark colours. Also, you can get a tan. Warm colours such as yellow, orange, brown and warm shades of red, so that's not the blue-based shades of red, worn close to your mouth will only bring out the yellow in your teeth. But if you have a tan, and you wear the right shade lipstick, and you have dark colour clothes, it's going to make your teeth just look naturally whiter because of the contrast. Number eight, drink with a straw. Even if you follow a natural diet, there are beverages that you drink that will have a tendency to stain your teeth. To avoid as many stains as possible, use a straw to draw those beverages into your mouth instead of having them slide over your teeth. The less contact they have with your teeth, um, the whiter they're going to be. But hey, I wouldn't really want to be drinking a cup of tea or coffee through a straw. So again, drink your coffee, drink your tea, then a glass of water, one to help you rehydrate and two to help wash away any of the stains and neutralize the acids. Hydrogen peroxide. Hydrogen peroxide is a substance used to clean wounds and to keep them from getting infected. Our bodies naturally produce hydrogen peroxide. It can also be used to help whiten your teeth. It is antibacterial and it works great as a mouth and gum cleaner and helps to keep the mouth free of the nasty germs. After brushing your teeth, you can swoosh some 3% hydrogen peroxide around in your mouth, then rinse thoroughly with water. But be aware that long-time use of hydrogen peroxide can lead to gum irritation and sensitivity. So again, it's a once in a while thing that you can do to help keep your teeth whiter. Olive oil. Olive oil to clean your teeth. Now, some people are attesting that their teeth become whiter by applying olive oil to their teeth after they brush, either adding a few drops to your toothbrush or simply, um, sorry, I just lost my train of thought, or simply add the olive oil to a corner of a washcloth or your finger and you can rub it on. This is a natural whitening tip. I don't think it's going to hurt because olive oil is good for you. The other thing if we're talking about oil is coconut oil pulling. Now, some people swear this has made their teeth whiter. Again, I think it's because it's stopping as much plaque and tartar buildup and it's stopping stains adhering to their teeth rather than it's changing the colour of the teeth. And coconut oil pulling, you swoosh around with coconut oil anywhere from two to three minutes up to 10, 15 or 20. And that is supposed to help um, keep your gums, teeth and mouth healthy. So if you want to whiten your teeth safely, be careful because your teeth are fragile. Using too much baking soda, eating too many acidic fruits or trying too hard to whiten your smile can cause damage to your enamel, gums and other parts of your mouth. Remember, keep it natural. Use these tips in moderation and you'll be able to improve your smile and your confidence. Now, if you want to whiten your teeth, then do consult with your dentist, see what options are available to you and be aware that many of those bright white Hollywood smiles, they have not had their teeth whitened, but they have restorations on their teeth, so crowns or veneers that are overlaid onto their teeth to make it look like they are really white. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Dr. Rachel Hall. This is the Dental Zone podcast. If you want to know more, evolvedental.com.au. If you'd like an appointment to become a patient, 07372018111. And until next time, stay in the zone. You've been listening to the Dental Zone podcast with Dr. Rachel Hall. For health, lifestyle, fitness, and a great smile, get in the zone.